in the 70th game of the 1980 season on a Friday night, June the 27th, 1980. Jerry Royce, three outs away. Ground ball to say. Over to Garvey, and he is two outs away. And the first time any emotion at all shown by Royce, he had his back to home plate. He made a little fist with his left hand, and you could see how happy he was that he had gotten one of them. Now it's Rennie Stennett coming off the bench as a pinch hitter to bat for Lavelle. One ball, two strikes. Bouncer down to Russell. He has the hop. He is one out away from it. Jerry Royce, who was denied a no-hitter eight years ago against Philadelphia when Larry Boa singled in the ninth, is now one out away from a no-hitter. The first one we have seen by a Dodger pitcher in 10 years. The first no-hitter at Candlestick in 12 years. But he has to get Bill North. North has grounded out twice, applied to left. A veteran who is a threat to bunt over three. Even the Giant fans now, you can sense our rooting. Royce got an ovation when he went to the hill to start the inning. Ball one. Eight nothing Dodgers, but it is Jerry Royce. Little number back to Royce. He picks it up. He's got a no hitter. Jerry Royce at 31 years old has done it. A no hitter. He missed a perfect game only by an error by Bill Russell in the first inning. What a magnificent moment for the big blonde. Rick Sutcliffe throwing his arms around him. And all of the Dodgers happy for their player representative who put on a magnificent show. There were three balls that were close. A foul ball by Terry Whitfield. The ground ball by Herndon in the eighth. The ground ball by LeMaster in the eighth. And that's it. Jerry Royce, who was 31 on the 19th of June, celebrates it on the 27th of June with a no-hitter, a magnificent effort.